spent her adult life fighting and caring for kids with mental disabilities, even creating Megan's House, a place for, that provides respite care for families. Well, tonight, we're looking back at her life and the legacy she left behind. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely shut. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. For Dawn Hall and her family, Carol Holliman was more than just a helping hand. She would just go on an hour or two hour ride with us just around town into another city. The ants go The Hall's life is like a window into Carol's work and dedication to families with kids who suffer from disabilities. When we went and took the children to um, Megan's house, we would go and have a vacation just to ourselves and we would get to, you know, get to know each other again. Megan's house was founded 10 years ago in 2004 and respectfully named after her daughter, Megan. She wasn't just part of our life, she was our life. Megan suffered from what's called partial trisomy 22, a chromosome disorder. She couldn't speak, couldn't talk, she could walk, and uh, she could utter certain sounds, and uh, it was just that she, it was a 24-7 thing with her. Sadly, Megan died at the young age of 14, and from there, that's when Carol's lifelong mission began to honor Megan's legacy. And, this way. and though the years were tough, Carol turned to music for her spiritual guidance, singing and praying for hope. And she was um, so concerned with the respite care for children with special needs and their families, and she pushed very hard for that for years. And Carol would stop in the mall and just see, you know, walk up to them and, and start talking to them. Because she, like her thought is, it was that they are just as much human as everybody else. Even if you didn't have a disability, she would want to want you to know that you're loved. And she would see you and smile at you and make sure she got a smile from you and just brighten your day. And for those who might not understand what she's done for them, her mission will still live on for many years to come through Megan's house.